Sir, I have two questions, uh, two supplementary questions, one for Minister Josephine and one for Minister Indrani. Uh, for Minister Josephine, can I ask, based on the investigation so far, how was the $2.8 billion of uh, uh, funds uh, placed in our system? For example, how much was through our banking system and how much was through cash and then how much through other channels? For Minister Indrani, may I ask, uh, just now she answered the question uh, on the cash transactions. Although she said that uh, cash, cash this, it is not uh, 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 appropriate to impose quantum on uh, the amount of cash to be used in transactions, uh, but uh, uh, I used to run a stockbroking company in Singapore, I, can I declare, and uh, we have, we report suspicious transactions as well. So can I ask Minister Indrani, um, so far, what was the maximum amount, maximum amount of cash that was reported by the institutions, whether it's financial institutions or whether the inter integrated resorts or property companies, the highest amount of cash transaction reported by IR, bank and property companies through the suspicion, suspicious report, uh, transactions reporting system. Thank you. Minister Thio. Mr. Speaker, I thank Mr. Leong for his questions. Um, but as I explained during my ministerial statement, this is a live investigation. Um, and I have shared with members the extent to which I'm able to reveal. So as to your specific question, this is a level of detail that will have to be made known at a later stage. I'm not able to comment more on the details of this case because Mr. Leong asked how they came to be placed in our financial system. This is a level of detail that we are not at liberty to discuss right now. As you well imagine, we are continuing to uncover new assets. And if we are in the process of still trying to uncover the assets that have been procured as a result of these likely criminal proceeds, it would not be in the interest to say more at this point in time, how the tracks were eventually identified. I'm also not sure that the question that you posed to Minister Indrani ought to be answered by her. I think I should answer it because it relates to the SDROs. I had mentioned in my statement that 43,000 uh, SDRs were filed on average annually between 2020 and 2022. 80% of them came from the financial institutions. 20% came from the other non-financial institutions, gatekeepers. That would include um, uh, corporate service providers. That would include uh, property agents um, and uh, other types of uh, gatekeepers. So that is the overall number. Um, he might have missed that. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm not sure. I, I was, there was another level of detail that he was seeking. Uh, sir, sorry. Mr. Leong, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, can I clarify for the minister that I'm asking for specific uh, amount of cash reported by the IR, reported by the banks, and reported by the property companies in the STR system? Um, as much as I'd like to be able to provide this level of detail, I'm afraid this is not possible right now. Okay. Minister Indrani, is, is there anything you'd like to add? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, there's nothing I would like to add uh, except to say one other thing, which is that the STRs, by their nature, are confidential. So, in so insofar as anybody's asking what does an STR uh, contain, that is not information that is uh, generally disclosed in any event because it's part of the investigation, and this is a live investigation.